In this video, I'm going to show you how to add this progress bar graph to your sheet that will automatically change when you select a new value to reflect the stats of that athlete. This is going to be a powerful visualization for any dashboard or performance report projects you might be working on. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in order to get this project started, we are starting with the athlete card that we completed in Strength Coach Tutorials number 96. And as a reminder from that video, we just created a drop down menu that when you select a new athlete, it's going to automatically update some different stats about them depending on the athlete that we selected. Now, in order to start to create these progress bar charts, what we want to do is have different um, characters be put into these cells based on the different qualities that these athletes have. So to see what the data looks like, we'll just go to the athletes tab and you can see we have our athletes, some information about them, and then I've just added a few extra pieces um, for speed, strength, stamina. And really, if you were doing this for your athletes, these could be really whatever values you wanted, but I've just used these for ease of demonstration purposes. So to get this accomplished, we're gonna start with a function called char or character. So what this looks like is if I type equals char and then open this up, what it's gonna ask me for is um, a number associated with the character that I wanna use. Now these characters can be um, anything from like numbers, letters, um, commas, different things like that, or they can be emojis, or they can be um, just different random characters that you might find on a keyboard. So for example, if I were to type 90 and then close this off, it's gonna give me the letter Z. Or if I wanted to do something like an emoji, I could type 127790, um, and then when I hit enter, it's gonna give me a taco. Okay, so we're gonna use this function to create that um, progress bar that you saw in the intro video. And the one that we're gonna use is the number code associated with it is gonna look like this, 10074. And when I hit enter, what you can see is this looks like a little um, piece of that progress bar. And what we're gonna do is just repeat that a bunch of times depending on the value that we have, um, that we are associating this with. So for example, we have this char 10074. If I were to use another function now called repeat, what I could do is say equals repeat, R-E-P-T, and open that up. And what it's gonna ask me for is the text that I wanna repeat. So let's say, I don't know, the letter Q, and then comma, it's gonna ask me for the amount of times I wanna repeat it. So if I said nine, and then close that off, whoops, I have to just put the Q in some quotations and you can see it's gonna give me nine cues. So if I were to mix these two formulas together and I take this char 10074 and I'm just gonna copy that and then paste it where the Q is, what you're gonna see is now I get that effect that I'm looking for, okay? So now we're gonna automate this for our actual athlete chart here. So the first thing we wanna do is actually use a lookup formula to pull out all of the values for speed, strength, and stamina. And I'm just gonna put these off to the side here. And what this is gonna look like is just a simple V lookup. So I'm gonna type equals V lookup. It's gonna ask me what I wanna look for. And I wanna look for the name, comma. It's gonna ask me where I wanna look for it. And for that, I'm going to highlight all of the cells of my table. And then it's gonna ask me what column that I wanna index. And in this case, I'm looking at the speed value. So I wanna index one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I hit seven here and then close this off, we're gonna get our speed value. So I'm just gonna do that two more times with eight and nine so that we get our other two values. Do this quickly, eight and then nine. And then there are our values. Okay, now from there it's pretty simple. I'm gonna take this same formula um, and go under the speed tab and I'm gonna type equals R-E-P-T, repeat. Open this up. The text that I wanna repeat is char. Open that up, one, zero, zero, 
seven, four, close that off. And the number of times that I want to repeat it is actually this six here. And then when I close this off, it's going to start to give me that value. I can drag this down a couple times. I'm just going to reset my box here. And there basically is our, um, our progress bar. So if I just justify this to the right or to the left, sorry, and then change my names, you can see that it's going to update to reflect the new athlete graph. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. And there we go. Okay. So that is basically how we would do that. And from there, I mean, you could use this in a lot of different ways. Um, this might be something where you want to show progress on a certain metric and then um, use this different, um, this ch character to show that progress. Or it might be something where you want to show star ratings for a recruit or something like that. So there's a lot of different ways to use this. Let your creativity run wild and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.